Hey guys, there's a whole lot of disinformation going on lately, as usual, as it has been going on for over two years straight now, specific to the case of Christopher Watts. So I'm going to take just a few minutes to fill you in on the truth, as usual, while all the other channels are busy, I think, trying to rake in some quick cash from the deaths of two innocent children. Bella and C.C. Watts. The latest round of disinformation flooding the true crime community on social media about the case of Christopher Watts is that Christopher Watts was sexually abusing his daughters, Bella and C.C. The accusers are pointing toward a photo showing Bella trying to stick something up the butt of one of her dollies. That's evidence supposedly to show or to support the theory that Christopher Watts was some sort of pervert. Well, let me tell you the truth about that photo. First of all, that photo was taken and posted online by Christopher Watts' wife, who thought it was funny and who evidently thought the rest of the world would think it was funny, too. You want to talk perversion? Secondly, at the time that that photo was taken, Christopher Watts' wife was, as usual, doctor shopping, trying to find a doctor who would diagnose both children with familial Mediterranean fever. At one point, she posted in her own words that Bella was diagnosed with familial Mediterranean fever. And then three months later, she posted in her own words that the doctors were leaning toward that diagnosis. You want to talk dishonesty? She took the children, she claimed, who knows what the truth is, she took the children to a series of specialists in her pursuit of a diagnosis of a rare disease for both Bella and Cece. And according to Christopher Watts' wife, one of the specialists instructed her to take the children's body temps daily. Now here's the punchline to those of you who are accusing Christopher Watts of being some sort of a pervert. For those of you accusing Christopher Watts of sexually abusing his children. Christopher Watts' wife took their temperatures daily with a rectal thermometer. Let that sink in. Oh, one more thing. The accusers are also saying that Christopher Watts was sleepwalking one night and they're saying that this story was confirmed by both sides of the family. That's bullshit. The Watts family has only confirmed that their daughter-in-law was telling that story repeatedly. The story goes that, you know, the hero of the story, Christopher Watts' wife, found him in the middle of the night, sleepwalking and standing over Cece's crib, just staring down at her. So that's another little clue that the accusers are using to support their theory that Christopher Watts was sexually abusing the girls. In fact, Christopher Watts had no recollection whatsoever of his wife supposedly waking him in the middle of the night as he stood staring at one of their daughters. He had no clue what she was talking about. 
In fact, his family has confirmed that Christopher Watts never had any history whatsoever of any sleepwalk. And now the accusers are adding a new twist to their own version of events by saying that he was naked while he was standing next to Cece's crib. And they take it even a step further by suggesting that he was actually taking part in some sort of deviant behavior while he stared at his youngest child while she slept. If you listen to these stories and you listen to how these stories are told and you consider the fact that it was Christopher Watts' wife herself who had the Vaseline jar sitting next to Bella's bed and who was taking her body temps with a rectal thermometer. Do you really think that it's Christopher Watts who is the perverted one? And I'm not just limiting that to his wife. There's some other disinformation being spread recently about the case of Christopher Watts. One example being that there were lovers coming out of the woodwork to tell all about their affairs with Christopher Watts. Those stories were debunked in 2018. And so was the story that has been told recently and it's being promoted on many channels that NK was searching for information on Christopher Watts' wife back in 2017. That was debunked in 2018. And the cute part about that story is that the people who are claiming it's true are downright feisty about calling others a liar who are saying, hey, that was debunked. I mean, feisty is being kind. That word is being kind to describe their behavior. There are so many channel creators who don't have a flippin' clue about this case. All they know is that if they put the name Christopher Watts in their title, then they'll be able to rake in some quick cash off of the deaths of two innocent children. Bella and Cece Watts, who deserved to be safe in their own home and who deserved to not have their temperatures taken daily by their mother using a rectal thermometer and who deserved to not be stuffed into bed at 6.30 p.m. every night and who deserved to not be given Tylenol and Benadryl who deserved to not be given lots of Tylenol, who deserved to not be taken to one doctor after another to fulfill evidently what was their mother's never ending need for attention and for power and control. Bella and Cece Watts deserved to be safe they deserved to be protected. And after their tragic deaths, Bella and Cece Watts deserve for the truth to be known. <laughs>